everyone, my name is Caitlin and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a book review on a book and that book is The Honey Farm by Harriet Alita Lai. And this arc was sent to me by Liverite Press in exchange for an honest review. So here's my honest review. This story takes place in Canada on a honey farm and the owner of this farm decides that it would be a good idea to invite artists to spend the harvest time with her to help her with the honey harvest as well as give them a place to be creative and be able to work on their own art. So the story follows a group of artists that are living on this farm and mysterious things start to happen on the farm shortly after they arrive and by the end of the book they're trying to figure out what is actually happening, what's real, what's not real, and it was very interesting, a great premise. There was a lot of magical realism, which I'm always for, and there were some allegorical elements too, specifically biblical allegories, which I thought was an interesting take. Overall, as a book, I have some mixed feelings about it. I ended up giving it 3.5 out of five stars. I think if you love slow-moving, atmospheric books, you will really love this book. I was totally sucked into the setting and I thought Alita's writing was rich and lyrical and it totally sucked me into the world and really kept me there the entire time. I was also super immersed into the mystery of this book and the magical realism elements. Like I said earlier, I just love magical realism and I'm always here for it. So I really, really enjoyed that aspect of the book. On top of the magical realism and the biblical allegories, there was also kind of like a metaphor with the bees and the bees kind of were reflecting what was going on inside of the house, which I thought was super interesting. Sometimes it was a little over the top, like a little too obvious, like, oh yeah, that's a metaphor. But overall, I thought it was pretty well done. Another thing I rather enjoyed about this book were the characters in this book. I thought they were really realistic. The main character we follow, I connected with a lot. She was very... She was flawed and you didn't know if you could trust her all the time, which I always love those kind of characters, but overall I, I related to her too. I also really liked the romantic relationship in this book. I thought that it was very realistic. It didn't romanticize anything. They had their ups and downs, but overall they supported each other and that was just really refreshing to see those ups and downs in a relationship in a book such as this. My main criticism with this book was the ending. I don't necessarily have a problem with open-ended stories. However, this book felt like she, the author was writing, 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 and then all of a sudden she just stopped. And I was reading the book and I was getting to the end and I was like, oh my gosh, stuff is gonna happen, and then just ended. And then it went to the acknowledgement page and I was like, wait, that was it? So I don't know if that's being fixed in the final copy. I would think that it wouldn't be because it's kind of a big global issue in a book, but the setting kind of left me hanging and didn't give me the resolution that I wanted. Overall, all this being said, I think this is a super promising debut novel and I'm really looking forward to reading Harriet's books in the future. I think she's super promising. This book comes out on May 29th so definitely pick it up if you're interested in magical realism, if you're interested in like kind of slow burning mystery. As always, if you've read this book, if you have an arc about it and you wanna talk about it, let me know. If we fast forward in time and it's June and you just read the book and you wanna talk about it, come back here and we'll talk about it. But other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Bye.